Today is about all of you. Today is about the couples we have here who have withstood the test of time. However you chose to withstand the test of time, that's between you guys, okay? But the fact of the matter is, you have lasted, you have thrived, you have made marriage a wonderful institution that we all know and love. So I want to congratulate all of you for that, and thank you so much for being role models to all of us. I am so happy that I'm here. Um, unfortunately, my husband Jay is not, but we just celebrated our 50th anniversary um, in July. And we started out as friends, and I think when some, sometimes when people say, what's, what's the secret to a good marriage? Sometimes I think, think the secret is starting out as good friends. It's just so, so great to see so many of you here and, and you come each year, which is wonderful because you're renewing your vows, you're celebrating your love, and by doing that, it makes us all feel so strong and we all feel the love and the happiness and the strength in this room. Mr. and Mrs. Santola, 74 years. What was your secret? Yeah, let's, let's have a round of applause for them. A lot of patience, love, and understanding, and faith. I was very lucky to meet Mary by mistake. When I talked to her, I said, she's a nice girl. So I asked her, would you like to go for coffee? So from coffee, we were married. I saw this young lady on the plane, and I said, God, I got to meet her. <laughs> so I, I, the guy that was supposed to meet me at the airport to, so I could give him the top secret documents, he wasn't there, so I said, ah, top secret documents can wait. <laughs> we met on Memorial Day, 1948. She, she was drinking a, uh, a bottle of Coke or something like that. I said, can I have a sip? She poured it on my head. With our kids, we've enjoyed life together with everyone, and it's, it's been a great life. Don't sweat the small things. It's not important. Never go to bed angry. Respect for one another's opinions and love one another continuously and our faith. Amen. And my philosophy is very simple. It's cheaper to keep her. <laughs> it's, it's really so great to see you and to be here once again. So, I was married 63 years. My husband passed away at 103. So, the truth is, I did a good job. <laughs> Last year, we had the honor of celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary with you. And this year, my husband said to me this morning as I was on my way here, he said, how come you didn't invite me back this year? <laughs> but it, it is an honor to celebrate with you. We have so much more to aspire to looking at all of you here in the room. So thank you so much for sharing this day with us. I said to my wife, I said, what would you like me to get? you for Valentine's Day. She always tells me no on the candy, but my daughter always tells me to get her candy. So, so that's what I did. Anyway, thank you all for coming. It's truly an honor to be here. This is really what Valentine's Day is all about. Sure, we love the chocolates. Sure, we love the flowers and the jewelry. But listening to all of you talk about, you know, the strength and the patience and the love and the respect and all of that, that's really what we celebrate. I really actually wish I asked my husband to come today. Uh, we're going to be celebrating 25 years in May. I'm fourth generation in Port Washington and he's fifth generation. It's just so great to see everybody here and happy Valentine's Day and God bless all of you. You were made to love me and I was made to love you. Our destinies intertwined, bringing us together here today and all the days of our lives. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Your vows are renewed for another year. I am blessed to be your town clerk because I get to do this every year. You are really the backbone of this town. All of you have come here. You've raised families. We thank you for making our town the great place that we know it to be 
because of your efforts.